Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers. I'm looking at a book on arbitration. It's actually uh, one of the dispute resolution guides from Informa. It's a light book, 350 pages. It's called A Practical Guide to International Arbitration in London by Hilary Heilbron, Queen's Counsel. Written a review with my wife, which is on Flickr. The book itself is relatively straightforward. It's got some very useful chapters. Um, very detailed information actually contained. Useful footnotes at the bottom. And an excellent index at the back. Together with quite a lot of appendices. We've given it the title uh, for London-based practitioners, A Guiding Light Through the Murky Waters of International Arbitration. London, of course, being the centre of it in in our view, for, for want of any other place. What we say, therefore, is London is the world leader in arbitration and a natural consequence, no doubt, of London's prominence as a world financial centre, only, of course, very recently reinforced uh, in the summer of 2010. So if you're a legal practitioner working in London, particularly on cross-border cases, then you're likely to become involved in international arbitration, in which case you'd be very glad to know about this book uh, not to mention relieved that you've actually got it. Uh, now, Hilary Hilbron, Queen's Council, is probably known to many people. She's a leading authority on arbitration and has constructed, in our view, a brilliant work here of reference, succinct, authoritative, eminently readable and logically structured. It's a one-stop practical guide which takes a step-by-step -step view of the arbitral process from beginning to the final enforcement. It examines, in her words, the tactical, procedural and legal issues that arise for consideration at each stage, including the role and attitude of the English courts, very important, with special reference to the importance of the commercial court and the technology and construction court. It primarily, therefore, the focus is on international commercial arbitration, although much of the book's contents, uh, and you can see through just going through the chapters what they are, um, they apply equally to um, investment treaty arbitration. So really it's a guide rather than a handbook or textbook, and it will be immensely helpful in our view to relative newcomers to this field, particularly those who need to advise clients of uh, both English and foreign nationalities. Obviously some basic knowledge is needed on the part of the reader, and it's obviously assumed, but unlike a number of other works on the subject of arbitration, which we won't name, um, which could be aimed at the specialist readership, unusual terms here are explained in the body of the text so that it's extremely useful for the busy advocate. I find it useful because there's always some term I don't know, and I need to know what I, what I can find the information. As I say, some of the stuff is extremely helpful. There's an excellent glossary at the back which you can have a good look at, and obviously there are extensive tables of cases, legislation, conventions and rules. In, there are 17 chapters, 7 appendices in total, and they include a comparison of relevant institutional rules, which I think is, um, again, of, of great help. The detailed index I know is a boon and will be for many people, um, as is the glossary. And Certainly the one area that I found most important was chapter 13 uh, on hearings and uh, actual, e actual evidence, which of course I have taught at the Institute of Arbitrators. So as part of the um, dispute resolution guide series, I think Informer have come up with, with good stuff here. It's a especially useful reference for foreign as well as English lawyers and in-house counsel wishing to increase their familiarity with arbitration in London. Uh, providing what we describe as a guiding light through its sometimes murky waters. So thank you very much to Hilary Hilbron and to Informer. Bye-bye.